Hey guys, welcome back to TalkTiv. Today we are going to talk about why Europe remove its dams. So let's is start our journey. Stay with us till to the end of video. Removing dams is positive news on the one hand for fish and other wildlife as 2023 was another record-breaking year for removing dams, weirs and other river barriers, freeing Europe's rivers and restoring healthy habitats. Hordes of fish across Europe are enjoying their newfound freedom, as 2023 was another record-breaking year for the removal of dams, weirs, culverts and other river barriers across the continent. Europe currently has 1.2 million river barriers. Hundreds of rivers are disrupted or blocked by dams, weirs, culverts and levees, often leading to the loss of breeding areas and reduced numbers of fish, such as salmon, sturgeon, trout and eels, which has a knock-on effect on an ecosystem's biodiversity, from brown bears and otters to eagles and insects. The structures were built to serve human needs, especially industry and agriculture, such as factories, watermills, irrigation, hydropower or navigation locks. But many of the structures are aging, with more than 150,000 listed as old and obsolete, many at risk of collapse. Barriers were removed in 15 countries in 2023. France was the trailblazer with 156 barriers removed in 2023, followed by Spain, Sweden and Denmark. With the UK coming in at fifth position, with 36 reported removed dams, including barriers on the Camel, Deva and Tarrant rivers. Most removals occurred in West and North Europe regions where density of river barriers is higher. But progress is also being made in other regions, including the Balkans, through an Open Rivers program-funded project to scale up dam removal in Southeast Europe. Dam Removal Europe is a coalition of seven organizations, including World Fish Migration Foundation, the Nature Conservancy WWF, the Rivers Trust, and Rewilding Europe, working to restore healthy, free-flowing rivers across Europe. Of the barriers removed from Europe's rivers in were lower than 2 meters high. Of the removed barriers were weirs, were culverts, and were dams. Removing barriers and restoring the natural flow of rivers also brings ecosystem service benefits for people, such as flood protection and water purification, as well as recreational opportunities and leisure tourism businesses. There were incidences of dams or barriers collapsing last year in Norway and Slovenia. Earlier this month, a federal emergency was declared in the Orenburg region of Russia following a burst dam on the Ural River. The compelling argument for freeing rivers has gathered momentum, with year-on-year -year increases of removals in recent times. S figure a significant leap up from removals in. More is expected in 2024. In 2022, a record number of dams and weirs were dismantled across Europe. Spain, Sweden and France are leading the dam removal efforts. Even small countries like Latvia and Luxembourg are getting involved. Removal of dams has revitalized fish populations and river ecosystems. So, overall dam removal in Europe is a trend driven by ecological restoration, safety concerns, and a desire for healthier rivers. If you like our content, then please support us by clicking on subscribe button. Thanks for watching.